What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, November 10th. And as you guys can see, I'm in the hospital. Got admitted to the hospital last night because my water broke in my sleep. Um, Yesterday was Saturday. I didn't really do much. Me and Skylar, well, just me, me and my sister went out and we got something to eat. And I came back home and I ate some, a little bit of seafood. I didn't eat much because I had really bad heartburns and I was just cramping. So I got home, I laid down, drunk maybe two glasses of water with ice and i just went to sleep so around maybe 2 30 2 30 ish i just jumped up out of my sleep out of nowhere because i felt like something just leaking out my leg and i jump up and i call my sister and i'm like oh my goodness my water broke so my sister was like, maybe you peed on yourself. I'm like, um, I don't think I peed on myself, but maybe. So I jumped in the shower, put on fresh new underclothes, and I laid back down. So I laid back down and um, I tried to go back to sleep and I had one contraction and that one contraction okay as i was saying um i tried to go back to sleep and that one contraction that i was having made everything gush out goosh so i called my sister again i was like no my water broke and i'm about to go to the hospital so i got to the hospital around three-ish and they tested me and they made sure my water broke. And my water did break. They processed me and and I'm here. I'm not having any contractions. I'm just here. I guess they're gonna try to keep the babies in as long as they could. Um, I might be here for days. I might be here for weeks. But they're going to try to keep the babies in until they at least 35 weeks. Um, I'm kind of like upset because my baby shower is this weekend coming up and I wasn't expecting this. So that test that I took earlier like last Tuesday when it says 7 or 14 days you're going to labor. I guess the test is accurate and right if you get positive because it was right on me. Um, I'm just here. They're giving me IVs, um, antibiotics, just in case if I get an infection. Um, they also told me if I get a fever, they want to take the babies some other stuff it's a whole lot that um doctors that i'm talking to i talk to the NICU doctor it's just a whole lot and i'm like so over it right now and only been here for a couple of hours not even 24 hours i already ate breakfast and now i'm just eating lunch um they're about to hook me back up to the monitors to see if I'm having contractions and watching and to watch the baby. Um, other than that, I'm going to be here, I guess, blogging my my life in the hospital for these couple of months. It's not going to be fun. Like, I haven't even got my hair done. My nails not done. Like, if I was to have my baby shower here, because they said I could have it here. I'm just going to be looking a hot mess. Thank you, twins.
so yeah i keep you guys updated on what is what and this is what's happening so far make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel maybe i won't end the blog here maybe i just blog this whole day and let you know what is what but as of right now i'm admitted to the hospital and i don't know if i should call it active labor because my water broke but guys stay tuned the life of four with twins on the way also i got the other kids at home i'm trying to figure out what is what i don't have anything together i don't have a bag pack i just don't have anything because i didn't think i was going to go this early i was going to start getting everything ready after the shower but i don't think that's that that didn't work out pretty well anyway let me go because i have to call my doctor my nurse so she can hook me up to the monitors and i guess guys stay tuned and in your prayers and thank you make sure you guys like and subscribe if i don't continue to blog no more today um thank you and yeah stay tuned